Tokyo Laboratory announces its closure. Fate Grand Order Mobile App is on top of the Sensor Tower rankings. The Seven Deadly Sin sequel releases the details, including the theme songs. Villainous Level 99 gets an anime adaptation. And the latest news on manga titles, including Aku and Bambi, has been finished. And Kadokawa releases the manga adaptations of Bold Buster and Gamera Rebirth. Voice actors, including Sunichi Toki and Honoka Kuroki, are launching their photo books. And Love Live, including fellow Love Live members Aya Uchida, is launching her new album. And Mayu Sagawa is launching her solo singer debut. What's up? This is Jeff, and this is your anime news source. This is Anime Minutes. The official website of Tokyo Laboratory announced that the company will shut down after 68 years of operation on Thursday, November 30th, and added that the company will dispose of any unclaimed film originals still in its possession until Tuesday, October 21st. According to the Tokyo Laboratory, the company is working toward returning all film originals to its clients. However, the company has been unable to contact some clients by phone, mail, or email. Tokyo Laboratory urges any company or person who thinks they might have a film original in its possession to contact the company by email. Tokyo Laboratory announced in November 2022 that the company and its parent company, Toho Company, will end their process in business, and both groups decided that it would be difficult to continue due to a change in their business environment, including increased movement toward the distribution of digital cinema, a collection of digital files to store and convey digital cinema. Tokyo Laboratory stated at the time that it would shut down, despite its digital imaging and video editing businesses would transfer to Toho Studio, and its archiving businesses would move to a new archiving company that Toho would establish within the studio. Tokyo Laboratory was founded in April 1955, where the company has worked on video editing, film development, and archiving on numerous anime. The company also has grading, conforming, data management systems, and an in-house visual effects team for video services such as digital cinema support for theaters. Mobile application data analysis organization Sensor Tower reports that Aniplex and Type Moon's Fate Grand Order has earned 7 billion US dollars as of Tuesday, August 15th. According to Sensor Tower, the mobile app has reached 81.1%, where Japan is on top for the most revenue, followed by China at 8.1%. The United States at 5.8%, South Korea at 1.9%, Taiwan at 1.8%, and territories at 1.3%. It also reported that players between the ages of 25 to 34 comprise 38% of players, and players between 18 to 24 comprise 29% of players, according to Apple Japan's App Store. The organization also reported that 24% of players play the game between 1 to 10 hours per week and 5% play more than 10 hours per week. Fate Grand Order is a free-to-play smartphone app developed by Lazengo, published by Aniplex Japan and supervised by Type Moon, was released for Android in July 2015 and iOS in August 2015. It is a turn-based role-playing game with some visual double elements. The player takes the role of a master and commands a group of individuals called servants who are typically historical, literary, and mythological figures from various cultures. The official website of Nakaba Suzuki's The Seven Deadly Sins, Four Nights of the Apocalypse, announced the details including a new cast member and theme songs for the animated series that streams on Sunday, October 8th. The additional cat for the animated series is Akio Otsuka as Baihis, Percival's grandfather and Ironside's father who was a holy knight of Camelot before he abandoned the kingdom following the betrayal of his son. Since then, he has raised his grandson alone on God's finger until the day came when Ironside returned and killed him before attempting to do the same to Percival. He'll join Shokomura as Percival as he discovers that he is destined to be part of a group of four knights prophesied to destroy the world. Targeted by the forces of Camelot as a result, Percival travels to find the other three members of the four knights alongside Lancelot, a Leonis knight who is the son of the Seven Deadly Sins member, Ban. Little Glee Monster consists of Asahi Kobayashi, Mayu Yoshida, Karen Koga, Mika Fuchihara, Yumi Nagai, and Kamala Miyu Aida performing the opening theme song Up To Me. And Moon Child consists of Ani Ogasawara, Uwa Kitadera, Uan Oyama, Mirano Hasisako, and Hana Kiberi are performing the ending theme song Friends Are Four. 
the official website of Satori Tanabata and T's villainous level 99, I may be the hidden boss but I'm not the Demogoid, and as of the details including the cast, staff, and stream date, that is coming January 2024. The cast from the drama CD and voice comic is reprising their roles for the anime, including Fyro's eye as Yumiela Darkness, the main character and reincarnate girl who was meant to be the secret boss of the ultimate game following the Demon Lord's defeat. Yuma Uchida as Patrick Ash Batten, the male lead and Yumiela's only classmate who did fear her. Asumi Waki as Alicia Einlight, the heroine of the game, and she is fearful of Yumiela due to her light magic, making her perceive the latter as a dark smoke with glowing eyes. Tako Yasuo as Edwin Balshine, the second prince of the kingdom and a magic swordsman who is foolish and careless of others. Kohei Amasaki as Oswald Grimside, the magic prodigy who gave Yumiela an inferiority complex. And Hauki Ishii as William Iris, a meathead and constantly challenged Yumiela to fight despite being hilariously outclassed. Minoru Yamaoka is directing the anime at the anime studio Jumondo. Together with Fumihiko Shimo is writing the scripts, Hitomi Kaiho and Kim Soo Ho are character designers, and Kana Otatane is a music producer. The series was published in Let's Become Novelist in June 2018, and Fujimi Kadokawa books published the novel where Tanabata is writing and T is illustrating in May 2019 and released in 5 book volumes. It was adapted into a manga series drawn by Nokomi in Enterbrain's Beast Log comic in February 2020 and released in 3 book volumes. Amazon Japan is listing that Heroes, Ako, and Bambi will end in the 8th volume to be published on Tuesday, October 20th. The story stands on when an amateur horror novelist Yu Bambi Kojita moves into a new cheap place. He is shocked to find it's already occupied by the ghost of a high school girl. With one amnesic ghost girl Ako haunting the apartment, the stories practically write themselves. The series was published on the creator's Pixiv and personal website in January 2020, and Asahi Shimbun Publications Sonorama Plus published the series in September 2022 and released in seven book volumes. Kadokawa announces the details of two manga series in different magazines, including the October 2023 issue of Kadokawa's comic flapper magazine, announced that manga artist Hishio Itami is drawing the manga adaptation of Kadokawa's Bulk Buster to be published in the November 2023 issue, which releases on Thursday, October 5th. Anime director Hiroyasu Aoki and animation studio PICS are supervising the series. Based on the anime disease of the same name and centers on a young engineer Tetsuo Okino who is transferred to a Burmese extermination company called Hato Industries with the new robot Bolt Buster that he developed himself. There, Hato Industries is a small company with a little money and its president Koji Tachima are against a mysterious creature. It began as a concept book released in November 2017 and adapted into a light novel series in December 2018 where the novel is written by Hiroyuki Nakao and illustrations by Isako Kobonochi and released in two book volumes. Shoya Chiba plays Tetsuo Okino and Hiroyasu Aoki is directing and writing for the animated series at the animation studio Studio Not and Masahiro Tokuda is a music producer. Nori Sui will perform the opening theme song Chai Rai Rai and Konomi Suzuki will perform the ending theme song Every Time You Shout Do Your Best. Kadokawa announced the details of the upcoming manga series based on the Gamera franchise after the release of the Gamera Rebirth animated series which is now streaming on Netflix. The first of the series is Gamera Rebirth called Thursos and manga artist Kambuya Bakuhatsutaro is drawing the series which was published in Kadokawa's Young Ace Up magazine and also available in the Book Walker Global to be published in the same day. The story takes place 100,000 years before the events of the main series and tells how a kaiju was born. It also added that Renga Kisi must Tate's Gamera Rebirth and it will be a full color comic version that is based on the animated series. The series is also available on the Book Walker Global service. Based on the Kaiju franchise and centers on four kids in Tokyo, witness the emergence of the turtle Kaiju Gamera who bravely stands up against giant human eating monsters. The official website of Tokyo News Suzinsha announced that voice actor Shinichi Toki is launching his second photo book in celebration of his 10th anniversary as a voice actor to be released on Monday, October 30th. The photo book takes place in Taiwan. According to Toki, he thinks that the contents are ridiculously voluminous. It's been updated a lot since his first photo book, Precious Time, released in October 2019 and included a lot of things that he couldn't do before. 
Toki made his voice acting debut in 2013 and he is known as the voice of Kei Suzuki in Bandai Namco Entertainment's The Idol Master Side M. He played male roles such as Kasutora Hanemiya in Tokyo Revengers and Akane Aoi in Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. The official Twitter page of voice actress Honoka Kuroki announced that Sufudon Tomosa is releasing her first 96-page photo book to be released on Monday, November 27. According to Kuroki, this is her first photo book when she asked a photographer to take pictures without decorating herself in a strange way. This is the book that the fans will enjoy and she would be happy if someone comes from this photo book. Kuroki made her voice acting debut in 2016 and she is known as the voice of Amana Osaki in Bandai Namco Entertainment's The Idol Master Shiny Colors. She is also one of the members of the voice actors unit, Sound Orion. The official website of singer and voice actress Aya Uchida announced that she will release her fifth album titled Music to be released on Wednesday, November 8. Music features eight tracks including four anime tracks such as Reverb, Pale Blue, Canary Yellow and Preview, and four new tracks including Magode Genki, where the song is composed and arranged by Yusuke Mochida, who is known for composing Uchida's songs since she released her first album, Apple Mint, in 2014. In preparation for her upcoming album, she will hold a live concert to be held at the Science Hall of the Science Museum in Tokyo on Saturday, November 18th. Uchida is known as the voice of Kotoi Minami in the Love Live franchise as one of the members of the Voice Actors Unit News before she made her solo singer debut. The official Twitter page of singer and voice actress Mayu Sagawa announced that she will release her first solo single which is distributed by Universal Music Japan to be released on Wednesday, November 15th. The untitled album features in two editions. The limited edition album contains with a bonus Blu-ray disc which features lead tracks music video, behind the scenes, and a regular edition. In preparation for her solo single debut, she will perform at the Kanda Miyojin Hall in Tokyo on Saturday, November 25th. Sagawa is known as the voice of Kasumi Nakasu in Love Live Nijigasaki as one of the members of the 13-member voice actress unit formed in 2017. If you have comments or suggestions, let us know in the comments. You can follow on my official Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash Manchester News and subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Kifferboy. But that's about it for Animators Today is September 10, 2023. This is Jeff and this is Animates.